a comfortable way to relax on your mat, on your back, either with legs long extended in front of you, If it conveniences you more to have your knees bent in order to safeguard the low back, that's a great option as well. If this is the option that you choose, make sure that you're pressing the low back into the mat. Fait si on a des genoux pliés, c'est mieux de pousser le bas du dos dans le tapis vers le plancher, vers la terre. Sinon, si les jambes sont longues, if your legs are long, continue to observe that natural curvature in the spine. Don't try to force it down and press the belly to the spine. It's a little bit aggressive. We want to allow the body to just naturally rest the way that it is. Je vous invite soit de garder vos bras sur les côtés ou sinon on peut placer les mains sur le ventre. If you'd like to place your hands on your belly, And this is a nice way to observe the expansion of the torso as you breathe. And while your hands, if they are placed on your belly or by your side, whichever is most comfortable, I want you to also notice the way that the throat is being engaged. Fait qu'on veut penser aussi de la gorge. Noticing the way that your breath feels as you take it in and breathe it out. We focus a lot on the chest and the rib cage and the belly, but we don't think about the collarbones and the throat as much. So I want us to bring a little bit of awareness there. Et j'ai pensé pour ce soir, pour cette pratique ensemble, pour l'intention d'être communication. So communication is the intention of our practice. I want you to notice the way that your mind communicates with your body, the way that your body communicates with your breath, the way that your breath communicates with your energy. Et quand on pense de communication, c'est aussi important de penser comment on communique, excuse-moi, avec nous-mêmes. How do you communicate with yourself on the yoga mat during your practice? And how is it that that can translate off your yoga mat in the way that you communicate with others? So noticing that link between your communication with self and how that translates externally to those that you communicate with on a daily basis. Je vous invite de prendre un autre trois respirations ici. Three more breaths at your own pace. Whether we're using the mouth to exhale or whether we're exhaling out the nose, just let those three breaths really be yours. Let them be taken in and released naturally. As you exhale from your third and last breath, I want to take this moment to thank you for being present. Je vous merci pour être là, pas juste avec moi, mais pour vous. So not just with me, but being there present for yourselves today. Slowly, when you're ready, one knee at a time, bring them into your chest, les genoux vers le corps. On nous donne un petit câlin. Wrap your arms around your knees to give yourself a nice squeeze. Peut-être on bascule gauche à droite. Maybe giving a little massage to the base of your spine. Full body stretch, but keeping the arms and the legs hovering off the floor. So reach back. Take a deep breath in. You can even engage the abdominals by lifting the head, neck, and shoulders slightly. And then exhale, just grab for your knees, bring them in. 
So the arms and the legs are never touching the floor. Breathe in, reach. Longueur du corps complet, mais on ne touche pas la terre avec les bras ou les jambes. Expiration. Les genoux vers la poitrine. Knees to your chest. Two more. Deep breath in, reach. Hold for a moment. And then exhale, bring it in. Une dernière fois, juste comme ça. On inspire, breathe in. Hold here, three, two, one. Exhale, bring the knees in. Head, neck, and shoulders rest back down. On trouve la longueur dans les jambes. Long legs, take a breath in. Flex in the feet, right leg. Exhale, halfway down. Juste la jambe droite. On inspire, on remet le pied vers le ciel. Right foot back to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, right foot comes down to hover. Keeping the legs straight, breathe in, lift. Keep the feet flex, exhale, just the right leg halfway lower. Inhale, rise. Exhale to hover. On va faire ça un autre deux fois, quatre fois au complet. On inspire, le pied vers le ciel. Expiration, on descend un moitié. On inspire, le pied vers le ciel. Expiration, on descend presque complètement, mais pas tout à fait. Une dernière fois, last time. Up. Halfway lower, both feet are flexed. So you're also stretching out the back of the left leg. Breathe in, lift. Exhale, drop the leg down to hover and hold here. Three, two, One, inhale to rise. On change de côté, left side. Exhale, halfway lower. Lift. And exhale to hover. Three more, up all the way. Halfway lower on the exhale. Keep that belly button engaged towards the spine. Lift the foot. Exhale to hover. On va faire ça un autre deux fois. On inspire, pied gauche vers le ciel. On expire par le nez, on descend un moitié. Up. Et on expire par le nez encore et on descend presque complètement. À peu près trois ou quatre pouces du plancher. On inspire une dernière fois. Halfway lower. Up. Good. Exhale. Half. Sorry. All the way down, almost touching the floor. For three, two. One, breathe in, lift. You're going to grip the sides of your mat. On prend les côtés de nos tapis dans les mains. Et on expire maintenant les deux pieds. Expiration, un moitié. Good. Inhale, up. And exhale to hover. This time we're going to bend into the knees and then lift the legs. Breathe in. Give the thighs a bit of a break. Exhale, halfway. On inspire encore les pieds vers le ciel. Expiration, on descend. Two more. Bend and rise. Flexion in the feet, halfway lower. You're really going to notice a lot of engagement in the quads. Breathe in, lift. Exhale to lower, to hover. Last one, y'all. Bend into the knees. Breathe in, rise, flex. Halfway lower, exhale. You should feel this in the hips too now. Breathe in, up. Exhale to hover and hold. Three, two, and one. Bend into the knees, grab the legs in. On nous donne un petit câlin, puis on bascule. Good. Dropping the feet down, heels nice and close to your bum. Setting up for bridge with movement. So your feet are hips with distance. Les pieds en distance de nos hanches, les bras sur les côtés. On inspire, on pousse dans les pieds. Lift up your hips. Keeping your arms by your sides. Exhale, lower one vertebra at a time back down. Breathe in, rise. Exhale, lower. So we squeeze for a moment at the top between the breath in and out. On inspire, on pousse dans les pieds. On garde ici pour un petit moment entre les respirations. Et puis, et on expire, on descend. Dernière fois, on inspire. Lift. Hold, squeeze, exhale, come back down. For three breaths, we're going to hold our bridge pose. 
So when you lift up your hips, on a l'option ici pour garder les bras sur les côtés, ou sinon on marche les épaules ensemble. You can walk your shoulders together slightly. If that feels too early to do so, if you grab for your hands below you and it feels a little bit too tense, you can always bring your arms back by your sides. Last full cycle in and out. Holding the hips up, breathe in, lift them up just a teeny tiny bit more. Up, and then exhale all the way back down. Again, bring your knees into your chest. Lots of hugging today. Wrap your arms around your legs. Give yourself a nice squeeze. We're going to create enough momentum to come all the way up to seated. So extend your legs. Les mains en arrière de nos genoux. On engage le cou et les épaules. Et on roule la longueur de nos dos, rocking and rolling a little bit here, coming all the way to a seated position towards the top of your mat as you come up, breathe in, circle your arms up to the sky. Les mains en prière, on expire. Two more times, breath in, circle up. Starting to open up the shoulders, the front of the chest, the back. Last one here, circle them up. Bring your hands to heart center, exhale. Take a moment here, remember our intention is communication. So we just started the practice. Ask yourself how your body is communicating with you. How is it starting to feel? Are you already feeling warm? Were you able to notice areas of tension in the body? Just ici, prendre un petit moment pour noter comment vos corps communiquent avec vous. When you're ready, release your hands from prayer. Swing the legs around, finding your tabletop pose. Fait que les mains sont juste en dessous les épaules et les genoux sont juste en dessous les hanches. Good. We're going to press into the hands and the knees. Drop the belly, always with intention. Don't just dump it down. Lift the heart through the arms. Look up as you breathe in. Feel that gorgeous stretch in the entire tummy and the belly. Exhale, press the mat away from you. Drop the head between the arms. Three more times. Breathe in. Exhale and round. On inspire, on descend le ventre. Le cœur est entre les bras. On garde vers le ciel. Et quand on pousse dans le tapis, on expire l'ombre vers la colonne vertébrale et on pousse les hanches vers les coudes. Une dernière fois, last one. Finding a neutral spine, flat back, breathe in. Insides of the elbows are facing each other, curl into the toes and lift up the knees about two inches off the mat. We're going to hold our floating tabletop for two. On continue de pousser dans les petits doigts une dernière fois. Here we're going to open up the knees and we're going to press ourselves back so that our bum comes close to our heels. Look down towards the heels themselves. On garde vers les talons. Les genoux sont ouverts, puis les hanches sont vers les talons aussi. On prend une inspiration. On ouvre la bouche, puis on expire. Shift the body weight forward slightly to close the knees a little, and then send the hips up high for our first downward dog. Exhale. Je vous invite de pédaler les pieds, de trouver de la longueur en arrière de vos jambes. Really feel those hamstrings. Become very aware of the back end of your knees. C'est toujours correct. Si les talons touchent pas le plancher, le tapis, c'est correct. That's not the goal. We're just looking for that release in the shoulders and that alignment in the spine. Take one more breath. Open the mouth and exhale. Ici, on marche les mains vers les pieds. Walk back towards your feet. Sliding your hands up your legs for a halfway lift, flat back. 
exhale and fold. Everything is really, really nice and heavy, maybe slightly bend into the knees. Press into all four corners of your feet as you roll up, on déroule une vertèbre à la fois. Once you reach the top, circle your arms up with you. And come to heart center, exhale. Half sun salutation, breathe in, circle up the arms. Here we're gonna open up the arms to swan dive, on ouvre les bras et on plonge. Un demi remonté, flat back for your halfway lift. Half sun sal here, we just exhale and fold. Press into your feet, inhale to rise. And bring your hands to heart center, exhale. On rajoute un petit peu plus. On inspire, on cercle les bras, circle them up. Maybe we start to engage in the back a little bit, micro back bend. Maybe you keep the hands in prayer if you'd like and fold forward, exhale. On engage le dos ici, demi remonté, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Walk forward into a plank position and drop down onto your knees, exhale. Wrap the elbows to the sides and slowly lower yourself down. Baby cobra, breathe in, lift up the chest, squeeze the elbows, on colle les coudes vers les côtés, on expire et on descend. Les mains en dessous les épaules, position de planche, on inspire, breathe in, plank. Exhale, hips up high, downward dog. On inspire par le nez. On expire par la bouche. Toute une inspiration, on marche les mains vers les pieds. Walk your hands back towards your feet for a halfway lift. We're at the back of the mat. Exhale and fold. On plonge. On inspire. On cercle les bras. Circle up. Hands to heart center. Exhale. We're going to pick it up just a little bit, but we're not rushing. Very big difference. Breathe in. Circle up. Full breath. Maybe you engage the back. Exhale and fold. Halfway lift. Breathe in. Tout un expiration. All one exhale. Walk forward. Drop down onto your knees. Modified Chaturanga. Exhale. Baby Cobra. Breathing in. Exhale, drop down. Plank pose, lift up your knees, press into your hands, one flat board, hips up high, chien inversé, downward dog. Take a breath in and a breath out. Inhale back, encore on marche les mains vers les pieds, un demi remonté, halfway lift at the back of the mat. Exhale and fold. Breathing in to rise. And hands to your heart, exhale. Again, breathe in, bend into your knees, exaggerate this lift. Cette fois-ci, on ouvre les bras, open your arms, swan dive forward. Halfway lift, le dos est plat, demi remonté. Here you have a choice as you walk forward, you can drop down onto your knees to modify your chaturanga or not. And here, baby cobra or upward facing dog. Et on expire, les hanches vers le ciel, downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. Les deux pieds ensemble, on commence avec le pied droit, right leg to rise, breathe in. Exhale, same knee, same elbow. Côté droit, on touche la coude avec le genou. Inhale up. Au milieu, come to the middle, knee to your nose. Inhale, rise. On twist, right knee, left elbow. Inhale up. Look forward, exhale, step the foot through the hands. High lunge, breathe in. Knee is stacked above the ankle. If you need to micro bend the back knee to make sure that the spine is nice and aligned, please do so. We're gonna engage the front leg. Breathe in, press into the foot, rise. Keep your arms as is, exhale, sink back down. So we're trying to keep that center of gravity. Communicate with your body. Remember, breathe in, lift. Don't lock that front knee and then exhale, come back down. One more time, up. And exhale. Stay here, take a breath in. 
Drop your hands down, step back, plank, chaturanga, onyx B. Upward dog or baby cobra, lift up the chest. Downward dog, exhale, take a deep breath in. On ouvre la bouche, on expire. L'autre côté, côté gauche, left side now. Huh? Same knee, same elbow, left side. You can sharply exhale to engage the abdominals if you'd like. Up. Au milieu, genou au nez. Encore, on pousse les pieds vers le ciel et on twist. Left knee, right elbow. Rise. And the left foot comes between the hands for your high lunge. Take your time to set up. First breath, we stay static. When you're ready, movement three times. Breathe in, press into the front foot. Remember, don't lock the knee. On expire et on arrête quand le genou est par-dessus la cheville. Un autre deux fois, on inspire. Right when you get to the top, come back down, exhale. Last one, rise. And sink back down. Take a breath in. Exhale, drop the hands, step back to your plank, chaturanga on expire. Upward dog or baby cobra. Curl into the toes, downward dog, exhale. Good, in through the nose, out the mouth. We're gonna travel forward, so come high to the toes, bend the knees, step, walk or gently float to your hands. Demi remonté, le dos est complètement plat. Très bon, on expire et on plonge. On inspire, on cercle les bras, circle your arms to rise. Hands come to heart center, exhale. Take a deep breath in. And a nice deep breath out. We're going to stretch the sides of the body, shake everything out. I'm going to turn to face you. You can stay exactly where it is that you are. Breathe in, feet are hips with distance, circle the arms up. Interlace the fingers, release the index, cross the thumbs, dip over to the right side. Exhale. On utilise la main droite pour tirer la main gauche. So remember, especially if you're looking at yourself here in your um, computer screen, it really doesn't matter how off to the side you are. It's more about pressing your feet and finding length and then dipping over to the side as you continue to pull. Last one. Breathe in, come back to center. Soupire, sigh it out and fold heavily. <sighs> Take a breath in. And again, breathe out the mouth. <sighs> breathe in to rise. When we come to the top again, interlace the fingers, cross the thumbs. Peut-être on change le placement de nos pouces, so notice which one was crossed in front and which one was crossed behind. Switch that and then sink over to the left. So we're just making small little communications with our body that we're adjusting outside of what is the natural way for us to come to. Maybe for you, your right thumb comes naturally to the front. This time we're sending it back. Encore, on inspire, on retourne au milieu. Soupirez, sigh it out and fold heavily, on plonge. <sighs> Take a breath in and out. On marche les pieds ensemble, position de chaise, chair pose. So the big toes are touching, small space behind the heels. Bend into your knees, sweep back and up. Inhale, exhale and sink. Instead of lifting and lowering, we're gonna pulse here for 10. Fait qu'on va faire des petites pulses pour 10 et on expire chaque fois qu'on pulse. Exhale every time we pulse. So take a deep, 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 deep breath in. Et on pulse dix fois. Three, two, one. Breathe in, rise. Bend it back slightly and then come back to your chair pose. Exhale. Hands come to heart center, pride in the chest. Breathe in. Et on twist côté droit, right side twist. Connect the elbow or the forearm. Take a breath in. 
and a breath out. Hold one more here. Bum is always lower than the head, and we're gonna find some balance here. Fait qu'on place tous les poids dans notre pied gauche, all the weight into, sorry, right foot. Pas pied gauche, pied droit. Right foot brings all of the weight into it as we slowly lift up the left foot and then send it back into a twisted lunge. On pousse les mains ensemble, hands in prayer, opening up the heart. Take a breath in. And a breath out. One more. Keep your legs as is. Come back to center with the torso. Lift up your arms, straighten your front leg. You might find balancing issues like me today. And then we're gonna find crescent lunge. Bend into the front knee, squeeze the elbows together. Sorry, shoulders together. And drop the elbows in line with the shoulders. Now we're gonna find some twists. Breathe in, lift. Bend into your front knee and twist towards the right side. Sorry, left side, exhale. Breathe in, come back to center. Exhale, twist over to the right. So we're twisting towards the bent knee. Bring your hands back to prayer. Connect back into your twist. Fait qu'on descend dans le twist encore. La coude touche le genou. On plie dans le genou en arrière et on retourne dans notre chaise. Come back to your chair pose. Hop forward with the left foot. Woo, hello, right leg. Breathe in, come back to center, rise all the way up. Open up your feet, exhale and fold. Demi remontée, on inspire. Position de planche, chaturanga, or come into your down dog if you'd like a break. Breathe in, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward dog, soupire, let it out. On inspire. On continue de pousser dans les dix doigts et on expire. Come high to the toes, bend the knees, step. Walk or gently float, halfway lift to rise. On inspire, le dos est plat. Et on plonge, expiration. Inhale to come all the way to the sky. Hands come to heart center, exhale. Shake it out. If you'd like to take a sip of water, we have another side to do. We want to even out the strength that we just created in the leg. This is a fun sequence, y'all. So we're going to do exactly the same thing. Exactly, exactly, but just on the other side. So, big toes touch, ouverture, en arrière, vers les talons. Make it theatrical. Really bend and sweep it back. I made it too theatrical. Inhale to rise. Exhale to sink into your chair. Encore on pulse, dix fois. On inspire par le nez, deep breath in. And exhale, pulse. Trois, deux et un. On inspire les mains en avant de nos cœurs. Et on twist côté gauche. Left side twist, connect your elbows to your knee or your forearm and open up, whichever feels best here. Again, remember, you don't want your bum in the air and the crown of your head facing down. We want the bum to be lower than the head. Last breath, peel the belly away from the thigh as much as you can. And now place all the weight into your left foot, really consciously, slowly lift up the right and then send it back. Notice if you sunk into your thigh here, you really wanna try to keep your belly away from the thigh as much as you can. It's okay if it's there, but there's that action in the hands, opening up the heart. On garde les mains ensemble, on inspire, on vient au milieu, and then rise, straighten the front leg, lift up your arms, crescent lunge, sink into the left knee and open up the heart. On descend les coudes en ligne avec les épaules, lift up your chin, Breathe in, rise. As you bend into the front knee, twist over to the right side first. 
come back to center, on inspire au milieu, et on twist côté gauche vers le genou qui est plié, towards the bent knee, hands come to heart center, bend and connect, good. Softness in the back knee, take your time, spring forward into your chair, drop your bum just a little bit. <sighs> Inhale to rise, hinge at the hips and fold. On plonge, demi remonté, on inspire. Soit chien à tête inversée ou notre vinyasa, flow it out if you'd like, exhale. You can even find a modified Upward dog by relaxing your thighs onto the mat, but keeping your chest engaged. And then exhale, send the hips up high. Good, breath in. And our breath out. One more. This time as we exhale, come down into a child's pose, bend into your knees nice and wide. Uncurl the toes and sit back at your breath for three. We're just about past that halfway mark. So again, intention, connection, communication, right? How does your body feel at this point? How is your body communicating with you at this point in comparison to the beginning of the class? Fait qu'au début, je vous ai demandé comment vous sentiez. Maintenant, vos corps communiquent avec vous encore. Comment vous sentiez? You feel. We're going to walk our hands back to frame our face. Fait que les mains sur chaque côté de nos visages, menton vers la poitrine et on déroule. Slowly roll up to rise. Sit back and bring your knees together. We're going to be sitting on our heels here. This is a great time if you need to place a block, if you'd like, but we're just going to be stretching out our ankles. So your hands are going to come behind you and you're going to squeeze your shoulders to puff out your chest slightly. You can rest on your fingertips or if you'd like, come down all the way onto your palms. And we're going to start engaging by lifting the knees up off the mat. You can come as high as you'd like. As soon as you begin to feel that pull in the ankles and the front of the foot, if that's not enough for you, you slowly start to come to a neutral spine and maybe bring your hands in front of your chest. So now your weight is fully being absorbed. The weight of the torso is fully being taken in by the ankles without resting anything on the hands. We're gonna take two more here. If this balancing act is not for you, you can always work on coming up to the fingertips. Last one. Take a deep breath in here, on inspire. Et on descend les genoux, on expire. Position de table, tabletop pose, and tap it out. This is the best part. Tap, 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 tap. Maybe take a very slow moment to roll out the ankle. That'll feel really funky for a second. So really take your time. Si on décide de rouler les chevilles, juste fais ça très, très lentement. On remet les orteils sur le tapis, toes onto the mat, hips up high, exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in and out. We're going to shift the body weight forward and really nice and slowly. If you'd like to use your knees, you can. We're gonna to try to lower down to our belly as slowly as possible, engaging the elbows in this Chaturanga-like setup. Come all the way down. We've done this before together. If you're unfamiliar with it, it's easy to follow. Arms are forward, legs are wide. Fait que les jambes sont ouvertes plus qu'une distance de nos tapis et les bras sont en avant. On inspire et on engage les bras et les jambes. Lift up. Exhale, bring the legs together and squeeze the elbows to the sides. We're going to keep the neck, the neck looking down. So the gaze is looking down. Breathe in, reach forward, open the legs, squeeze it in. We have six more, total of eight.
We're halfway there. Four. On garde les orteils pointus. Point the toes for two. Last one. Curl the toes, drop them down onto the mat. Hands are underneath your shoulders. Plank, position de planche, on inspire. Downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale. And breathe out. Ici, les pieds vers les, les mains, vers les poignets, so you can lift up the heels. Step, walk or gently float, halfway rise, on inspire. Et on plonge, expire. Come up, breathe in. Beaucoup de mouvements aujourd'hui. Lots of moving. Come into a slight back bend here. Notice how your back feels. Et les mains en prière devant le cœur. On expire. Take a deep breath in. And let it go. Shake it all out. We're going to do one of my favorites. So we're going to do the balancing, opening, curtsying situation. I haven't done that in a little bit. And I miss doing that with all of you. So take a sip of water. If you're like me and you need it. <laughs> and then prepare. So I'm going to come a little bit closer. Hello, hello, everyone. Hands on your hips. So we're going to start with the right knee. Bring it up. Breathe in, exhale, kick it out. Breathe in, open it up, send that leg back, exhale and curtsy. Good, breathe in, come back to your center, exhale, kick it out. Open up the leg, breathe in, curtsy it out, exhale. You can make it a little bit harder now. Open up the arms if you'd like to the sky. Come to the top on our old deux. So this is two more, exhale, kick. Open it up, breathe in, on ouvre et on inspire. Et la jambe en arrière, on expire. Une dernière fois, last time, y'all, up. Extension, on expire, on ouvre et on inspire. On descend et on expire. Les mains devant le cœur. Hands in prayer. Breathe in. Up. Exhale. Kick it out. Lift it up. Breathe in. Three, two, one. Exhale. Drop it down. Breathe in. Circle up. Vinyasa. Flow. Exhale. Fold. Halfway rise. Either find your plank to chaturanga or downward dog, your choice. Upward dog or baby cobra. Downward dog, exhale, take a breath in and out. Come back to the top of your mat. On plie dans les genoux, les pieds vers les mains. On inspire. Et on plonge, fold, come up, breathe in. And a nice exhale. When you're ready, other side. So I'm gonna face y'all again, hands on your hips. Left knee up, breathe in. Extension, on expire. On inspire, on ouvre. On expire et on descend. So that nice curtsy, try to keep this knee above the ankle. Breathe in, come up. If you want to lift up your arms right away and make it challenging, I invite you to. Exhale forward, inhale, open. Exhale, drop. If you're happy here, keep the hands to your hips or bring the arms up. On peut engager les bras maintenant. Plie dans le genou. Et extension dans la jambe, on expire. Open up, breathe in. Exhale, drop it down. Keep up that energy. We got one more. Up. Les mains en prière, on inspire, on retourne au milieu. Extend it out, exhale. Lift it up just an inch, breathe in. Three, two, one, exhale, drop it down. Breathe in, again, come up. And exhale, fold. 
Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, plank to Chaturanga. Again, you can make this a bit of a relaxed upward dog by leaving your thighs on the mat and then send your hips up high, good. We're gonna find pigeon pose. It's been a moment since we've done that together. So right leg to rise as you breathe in. And then you're gonna bring your right knee to your right wrist as you lower down onto the mat. Extend the back leg and really walk it back. On va être sûr que les orteils pointent directement en arrière de nous. So make sure that your toes aren't facing over to the sides of the back. Je vous invite de commencer ici. This is a really nice way too to find a bit of a back bend, a really nice heart opener. Take a moment to adjust your hips. On veut toujours trouver la degré qui est le plus confortable, mais en même temps, c'est un peu difficile, mais pas trop difficile. So this is where we communicate with our body. We slightly move the hips. Maybe we open that foot. Maybe you start to come down. This is a great example of your body communicating with you. If you come down onto your forearms and your body's like, hey, I'm not a fan. This is where we come back up. En même temps, si on descend, et le corps nous dit, peut-être on peut plonger un petit peu plus profondément, on descend la poitrine et on essaye de mettre le front peut-être soit sur les mains ou sur le tapis. Et ici, on respire pour trois. Three full, lengthy breaths. How far away can you move your shoulders from your ears for this last one? Slowly come back up. I invite you to take your time feeling your vertebra come to a more straightened position. Hands are underneath your shoulders. Curl into the back toes, lift all the way up. Bend into your knee and open up your hip. Take a moment here. Don't rush into your wild thing if that's where you'd like to go. Just take a second to dial into this pose, this moment, this feeling. If you're happy here, please stay. Otherwise, take a second to really guide yourself slowly down with that right foot as you press into the left hand, reach back. You can even place your right hand at the back of your skull to open up your chest a little bit more. And then when you're ready, exhale, come back into your downward dog. Maybe pedal out the feet, notice the difference in the hips. Quand vous êtes prêt, côté gauche, on inspire, left leg all the way to the sky, bend into the knee, swing the shin forward and come down. On marche, on marche, on marche, on marche. Et ici, je vous laisse. On sait exactement ce qu'on doit faire. You know what to do. Once you found your happy place, that's where we begin the three breaths. <clears throat> Si vous voulez rester ici pour une autre respiration, c'est complètement correct. Do what feels right. This is, again, a moment to let your body communicate with you. If and when you are ready, come to rise, engage the back leg, three-legged dog. First bend into the knee, open up, don't rush. Remember, it's really about the journey, not about the destination. And if you find wild thing, take your time. Try to lift up the hips as high as you can. Maybe squeezing the bum just a bit. 
Et c'est toujours sur une expiration. Exhale. Find your down dog. Take a deep breath in. And then drop down onto your knees. Exhale. Sit back onto your heels. Swing your legs around. Legs are long. Take a moment. Just let me know, is the music too loud? Oh, you can still hear me and the music is okay? Perfect, okay. So engage the legs by flexing the feet, but keeping the knees supple so we're not locking the knees. Les mains sur chaque côté de nos jambes. On inspire. Fierté dans la poitrine, dans le dos. Et on plonge, on expire, fold over the legs. Passive forward fold, take a deep breath in. One more. On glisse les mains vers nos hanches pendant qu'on déroule. Glide your hands towards your hips as you slowly roll up to rise on an inhale. Et on ouvre les jambes plus qu'une distance de nos tapis. So I'm going to turn to face y'all, but you can stay exactly where you are if you'd like. But you're opening up your legs really, really nice and wide here. We're going to turn the torso to face the right leg. Toujours une flexion dans les pieds, fait que les orteils vers le ciel. Your toes are pointing up, up, up. Your hands are framing your leg. Fait que un à l'intérieur, un à l'extérieur. Et on tourne la torse vers le jambe droit. On inspire. Et on commence de plonger vers la jambe. You can come down as much as you feel comfortable. But you're engaging the chest here. Fait que c'est pas passif. We're not bringing the forehead down. You're looking towards your toes and you're almost pulling your body towards your flexed foot. On va être sûr que l'autre pied est aussi flex. Il y a une flexion dans l'autre pied aussi. So you want to make sure that both feet are equally flexed. Last one. Maintenant, les deux bras à l'intérieur du jambe droit. So now your right arm is going to come to the inside of your right leg. And we're going to reach that left arm up to the sky. Breathe in. Side body stretch. Now bring that left arm towards the right foot. Toujours une ouverture dans la poitrine. On pousse la coude dans la jambe pour ouvrir la poitrine. So you're pressing into this elbow. If the elbow doesn't reach the floor, that's totally fine. You can even press your hand onto your leg, wherever it is that it reaches, to open up the heart. This is exactly the same thing, just slightly modified. Take one more. Slowly come back to center and take a moment here. Notice the way that you feel. Quand vous êtes prêt, on change de côté. So your hands are on either side of your left leg now. Breathe in. Keeping the back and the chest engaged, fold down, exhale. Flexion toujours dans les deux pieds. Et on pousse les mains sur le tapis pour tirer la poitrine entre les bras. Pull, pull, pull the chest through. You should feel a yummy stretch right behind your knee when you do this. Dernière fois, last one. Left arm to the inside of the left leg. Encore, on a les deux options. On peut rester toujours sur le bras, sur la coude au complet, ou sinon la main à l'intérieur. We're reaching up the right arm now to the sky. And then exhale, bring it down. Keep those feet flexed, still engaging into the toes. 
C'est possible qu'on commence sur la main, puis après ça, après peut-être un ou deux respirations, on descend, mais c'est complètement correct si ça n'arrive pas. Again, let your body communicate with you. Try to drop your shoulders out of your ears. Last breath. Come back to center, nice and slow. Take a moment. Notice how you feel. Bring your hands underneath your knees to guide them up. Fait qu'on utilise les mains pour guider les jambes ensemble. Slowly, slowly walk your knees in. You can give yourself a squeeze to round into the back. Bring your forehead to your knees. Et quand vous êtes prête, on vient sur le dos. You can even hold onto your knees and kind of rock yourself back if that feels nice. Last hug all together. This one is a really nice tight one. So we're engaging by lifting up the forehead towards the knees. C'est correct si on peut, on touche pas. C'est complètement correct. C'est pas le but. On juste veut, on veut juste, excuse-moi, engager les épaules. You want to lift the shoulders as much as you can away from the mat. Let's breathe in all together through the nose. Deep, deep, deep. On ouvre la bouche, on expire, exhale, Shavasana. Peut-être soupirer. Sigh it out. Find that really yummy place. And this is that moment where your mind, your breath, your body, everything is connecting together. And you are just allowing that vibration and that buzz to happen on its own while you lay here for a few breaths and absorb everything that we just did together. Maybe finding a quick scan of the body, starting with the toes and working your way up to notice where you can let go a little bit more, where you can release a little bit more, where you can surrender a little bit more. Avec chaque expiration, on devient un petit peu plus lourd. On donne la responsabilité de engager le corps. On donne cette responsabilité aux terres, aux planchers, aux tapis. C'est plus notre responsabilité. Allow yourself to take three more breaths here. Full, lengthy. Getting heavier and heavier. Last one. <sighs> Slowly bring awareness to your toes and your fingers. If you can keep your eyes closed, 
As you roll onto your side, ideally the right side. Fetal position and when you're ready, slowly pressing up to rise. Take your time. Find a nice easy seat, legs crossed. Proud spine, shoulders are rolled back. Avec les yeux fermés, on trouve trois respirations ensemble pour fermer le cours. Breathing in through the nose. And out the mouth. With eyes closed, bowing the chin to the chest, you could bring your hands to your heart if you feel comfortable to do so. And taking this moment to communicate with your mind, with your breath, and with your body to say thank you. Thank you to all the systems. Thank you to all the parts of our body. Thank you to everything that makes us who we are for being present, for being able to move, for sharing our energy and our breath here all together. We give thanks. On prend un petit moment ici pour remercier cette pratique de yoga, this beautiful practice that we have available to us. Et comme toujours, c'est moi qui vous remercie. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing your energy with me and for allowing me the honor to guide you. And as always, I remind you to choose courage over comfort. Merci tout le monde. Thank you. Namaste.